Hey guys, and welcome back to the Rare 57 YouTube channel. Today's video, we're going to split this engine. Now, I'm going to be filming this in real time. There'll be some spots I'll speed up, but I have confidence I can knock it out quick enough that I won't kill a whole battery, but I'll pay attention to it. I'll try and get the best shots I can, but I will be working at an aggressive rate, so bear with me. And I don't want to hear any comments about the fact I'm using a half inch impact. I'm taking them off, not tightening them up. It's the only thing I got, and it's quicker than doing this by hand. When I reassemble, 90% of it will be put together by hand. I need to get a quarter inch drive impact, it's a lot easier. But for now, it is what it is. We're going to go ahead, get all the side covers, starter off, breather off, water pump off, water pump, water jacket housing, and then get all the top bolts out. From there, we'll flip it. Let's get going. Alright guys, so this is the current setup. We've got the tool set up. We're up at chest level. I'm going to go ahead and break these covers down as quick as I can. It's a little dark, so I'm going to try and kind of turn it and get the shot, but bear with me. I'm going to be rushing. Alright guys, and here we go. It is... Ooh, you can't see that. Yeah, you kind of can. 5.21 p.m. Let's rock and roll. I got my tunes in, so bear with me if I'm not talking a lot. Probably throw some music in here. Gasket, top right. This one shouldn't be stuck. This one's been off before. We're going to pull the clutch. I don't know if it's necessary, but we're going to pull it anyway because I don't know what's behind it. Plus it needs inspected anyway. Oh, that's good.
That looks good. Take a glance at this. Ooh, we got hot spots already. I think we're gonna go a little heavier on this. We're starting to burn it up already. So we're gonna throw a heavier spring set in before we're done here. Welded mod, our entire stack. There's the back washer, front washer. Come on. The bushing. The needle bearing. The basket. The oil pump gear. Looks like I gotta pop this wiring loose. That'll go with the bottom case. I'll do that once we're flipped. Other than that, it looks like we're ready to split on this side. Let's give her a spin for you guys. This is 10% luck, 20% skill, 20% concentrated power. Magnetic Sun Beach.
Looks like it's just these. What size are those? 13s or 12s? 12s. Special copper one is up here, just for reference. My reference more than yours. Another special copper one over here above the clutch, and yet another one on the other side of the clutch. Those all go into oil jackets. Makes sense. All right, I see nothing preventing me to split here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Does appear we're ready to flip this motor over, guys, so that ought to be the fun part. It's going to leak. The given. Just no matter how much. So, top side of the case, got those bolts. Slave push rod. I was waiting, wondering when that was going to fall out of there. Alright. Upside down we go. Come on, keep walking, keep walking. Roll back. It's going to leak like a mother right now. Get out from under there, I don't want to pinch no fucking wire. There we go. That rag should catch a lot of oil. Some good clutch box. Oil pan coming off. This has never been open. Just repeating that for the thousandth time. I've never had this motor open. This was a bone stock motor. Nothing ever done to it to improve it. I correction. I put a piston in it. Still a stock piston. I've never split the bottom of this motor. Get it back up here. Some pick up, pick up O ring. Nothing, 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 nothing. This oil line's gotta come loose. Not a big deal, it's a banjo. Do, 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 do. Yeah, that splits way the hell up there, so that can stay in. Cause that whole shifter assembly's coming off of it. 
All right. I think you'll understand when I say that something. I wanna hold your hand. Yeah, my music selection is quite interesting, guys. Not even gonna lie on that. You know what? I may as well leave that seal. And just split it down there. This is gonna be cleaner anyway. I'm gonna guess a five, and I would guess right. Those two are over here. All right. Bunch of weights. That's a 10. Apparently that line has to come all the way off. In order to get to that, in order to get to that, No clue what that did, honestly. I think it had something to do with the counterbalance, but not entirely sure. All right, pull out a 12. All right, I'm down to just the mains. These are gonna need more of them. Figure as much. Ooh, it's not Why am I doing that? I need looser, not tighter. Crack. Ooh, stay. Quit running away. Sorry if I'm in your way.
gonna miss something somewhere. Aha! 14. One big 14 down here. Apparently still missing more. Touches the life of trying to figure this shit out as I go. I would think there'd be something in between here. Don't see any jackets coming down from there. Let me check what's behind that little cover. I'm pretty sure I know exactly what I'm gonna find. Pretty sure it's counter shaft. Which I debated deleting, but don't have time. It is the counter shaft. And a motherfucking bolt. That would answer that question. What am I missing? A fucking bolt? A bolt that I'm not even sure I can get to. We're gonna try this trickier way. I can't even get a fucking wrench down in there. Motherfucker. Size of that big motor. Right? There. Seventeen on there. All right guys, so we're gonna do a quick overview. The engine looks great. There's nothing on the crank. It looks great. I gotta clean it, of course. Clean everything before you put it back together. Uh, when I go back together the next time, I'll have all new seals. For now, we're RTVing everything, which is e not my favorite thing to do. I really don't like the idea of having to take this engine out twice, but I will. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, YouTube, but going by the gearing on a bicycle, front gear big, back gear small, is higher gear. So first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear is what I'm guessing. Pretty sure I'm right there. Uh, which would make sense because second gear and fifth gear we're skipping. Fifth gear's got some slightly boogered up freaking dogs in it. And the second gear you can see eh. You can kind of see. Eh. Where's the little ringy? Autofocus is not liking it where it's been skipping. So this needs back cut, this needs back cut. I'm going to inspect that other shaft quick and make sure it don't look that way. If it does, we're going to abandon the weekend. And we'll just send this one off, get it cut, and be done. Uh, if it isn't, it's going in. Uh, i got to look at my shift forks. I do believe the big shift fork on the far, oh, that would make sense, right-hand side is bent and buggered. 
it looks like it. So I need a big shift fork for second gear. If uh, anyone knows of one in North Alabama, please hit me up. I've been hunting like a madman. Chad did not have one, at least not on hand, really easy to get to. He might, but he'd have to tear an engine apart for it. So hit me up. I'm going to be all over the forums tonight looking for him, all over the Facebook groups. I need a Gen 1 Hayabusa big shift fork. Definitely need a big shift fork. Probably should get a small one too, but I can do that later because I never hit fifth on the drag strip anyway. Thanks for watching the Ringer Fix 7 YouTube channel. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to try and do most of this in full speed. I'll speed a few things up that are blah, but I got some editing to do. That was a whole lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, and I can't go together until I get the shift fork anyway. So tomorrow after work, hopefully, I can go get a shift fork. That means Friday when I don't work, I'm going to get up at the butt crack of dawn, clean this, get a shift fork in, get a trans in, get it in the bike, and get to the track for test and tune that night.